Hey everyone, it's Alyssa from Planet Alyssa, and I am here with this week's What I Sold on Etsy video. Uh, it has been another good week here. I met my sales goal once again, um, exceeded it by a, by a nice little margin. Um, I sold a couple of higher priced items this week that really did help, um, and I didn't really sell too much this week, but I sold a total of $271 worth of stuff and I sold 11 items. So I'll go ahead and show you each of the different items that sold and how much they sold for. And as a reminder, um, the price that you see is the price the item sold for. It doesn't include any fees paid to Etsy or fees I paid to purchase an item. Um, and also doesn't include the shipping fees paid by the buyer. First item I sold this week was the ceramic trivet. It's a souvenir from Florida and it sold for $10. And this is something I think I picked this up at a yard sale um, not too long ago, a couple months ago maybe. And as it happens, I think this cruel embroidery kit came from the same sale. Um, it also sold for $10. This one though is an international order. It was one of, I think, three international orders this week. And on the other end of the spectrum was this order, which I think was very local, um, just a couple towns away from me. Uh, these are a set of tissue, paper, honeycomb, uh, Christmas bells. There's actually five in the set, you just see two in the picture here. And I sold the set for $12. And this is a vintage oil lantern, um, red metal lantern with the glass uh, globe there. And it sold for $20. I think I picked this one up at a rummage sale. And this was one of the bigger sales this week. Uh, I sold this vintage Kodak brownie camera for $75. Um, obviously I can't test an old camera like this, but it does look like it is in good condition and it is a, it's a nice attractive looking camera. I picked this up at an auction, I think. Um, I think it was in like a box lot. And then I sold this figment figurine for $12. I picked him up at a thrift store. And um, Figment, if you don't know, is a, uh, a mascot from Epcot and Disney World in Florida. And uh, so he was pretty cute. Um, I did look him up to see if he was vintage or not. He kind of looked vintage when I was looking at him in the store and um, did some research on like this particular model of Figment with, sitting with his arms crossed. And I believe it was from like 1982 or 1983 or something like that. And this is a vintage souvenir scarf from Belgium. Um, pretty cool scarf because it has all the different illustrations of different sites in Belgium. It sold for $15 and this was my second international order of the week. And then I sold this enamelware bin or box for $20. And this is something I took an offer on. I had it listed for $25 and I didn't have it listed that long. So I might've been able to keep it up at 25 and have sold it at that price. But uh, someone offered me 20 on it um, and I decided to take it. She was actually pretty close. She was only in Brooklyn, so didn't have to go too far. Um, so I was happy with that offer. And this is something I picked up not too long ago at an auction. Um, so I didn't pay too much for it. And this is the third international order this week. This is a resin spoon rest. It sold for $8. As you can see, it has like a butterfly and a flower embedded in the clear resin there. Um, I'm thinking I picked this up at a rummage sale. And this came from a rummage sale I went to back in the spring. Uh, it's a piece of fabric which sold for $14. As you can see, it has different uh, bird species illustrations on there. Um, and a nice like heavier uh, upholstery type fabric. And my final sale of the week was also my uh, other big sale. Uh, this sold for $75. It's a little um, like purse made out of a shell, like a mother of pearl shell. Um, and then it has these cool like metal accents. It's got that cool like lattice um, cut design there. So pretty uh, neat piece. And like I said, I sold it for $75. I picked this up at an auction not too long ago. Actually, the same auction that Green Bin came from. So that's it, everyone. Uh, thank you for watching. I do put out these videos every week showing the different vintage items I've sold in my Etsy shop, Planet Alyssa. And then I try to get some other videos out for you. I've been kind of behind in that, but I do have another one I'm working on um, talking about just my reselling journey and how I came to become a full-time reseller, which I am now. Um, in 2015, I 
me that official. Um, I do not sell full time on Etsy. Etsy is still a part time income for me, and um, I divide it between Etsy and Amazon pretty much. I do some on eBay, but uh, but not all that much. So anyway, um, look for that video soon, and um, hopefully I'll get some other videos out for you as well. So again, thanks for watching, and if you like this video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up or subscribe or leave a comment below, and I'll see you guys again soon. Happy selling, everyone!